A man involved in a shootout with Jeffersonville police was a military combat veteran. WDRB Stefan Johnson tells us what else we've learned about this deadly confrontation. Stefan. Well, right now, the case is still under investigation behind me here at the Jeffersonville Police Department. And Jeffersonville police also say that Richard Glass was actually communicating with officers and appeared to be unhinged before firing several shots in the direction of officers and neighbors. I'm actually just like two doors down from where it happened. It will probably be a long time before Cassandra Blevins can forget what happened earlier this week. It was scary. I mean, I sat by my door. I saw the SWAT team come up. It was just a scary experience. At about 930 on Tuesday night, Jeffersonville police responded to a report of a burglary at the Avia Apartments on North Shore Drive. Officers made contact with Richard Glass, who advised an unknown person broke into his apartment and committed theft. While on scene, an officer observed numerous firearms in the residence. Police say the suspect eventually fired several shots at officers. Every individual in proximity of the Avia North Shore Apartments was in grave danger due to the actions of Mr. Glass. Major Isaac Parker says officers spent several hours trying to communicate with the suspect. As the incident progressed, so did the aggression of Mr. Glass. At 10.04 p.m., Glass stated the dispatch that someone was going to get shot. That's when police contacted a family member and got disturbing news. It was learned that Mr. Glass was a combat veteran and suffered from a chemical dependency. At 11.26, Glass was seen walking around his apartment with a long gun and a pistol. At 11.29, officers advised Mr. Glass was shooting out the window towards them. Major Parker says at that point, officers were forced to eliminate the threat. At 12.07, an officer with our observation and precision rifle team reported firing his weapon, which caused the suspect to vacate the window area. Right now, there are two investigations, one internal and one involving ISP. The fact that an internal investigation will occur is standard practice in accordance with our department policy for any officer involved shooting. Indiana State Police will conduct the criminal investigation with unremitting efforts to provide a fair and thorough report. There's also police body camera footage that has been turned over to ISP. Meanwhile, three officers behind me here at the Jeffersonville Police Department have been put on administrative leave. That is always standard procedure whenever there's a police involved shooting. All right, Stefan, thank you. Maybe eventually that body camera footage will be released to us.